all right. <laughs> if this is a remastering, I don't know what is. Uh, uh, it was a little bit hard to write, but yeah, d d this is a really fun. This is beautiful. Thing. Yeah, the chord is really work as a team. Skip three. You are if it if the font is like this, it's by the UK Dan voice, aka the cowboy voice. You are security guard, Duckington. Yes, I'm trying to get attention. I need I'm trying to get attention. Uh, understand, but wait, don't cook it. Uh, uh, the humor's just beginning, and then, uh, just so the description isn't spoiled, it, it will be censored right here, of course. But obviously, you've all seen that already, and you all know he has. And I will have a spoiler warning before the. Uh, this video, of course. Uh, so, over here is kind of serious. Uh, uh, and then, oh, the action begins. He comes to see. Hey, is that the guy? Yes! <laughs> and then a little bit of a reference to we the Raiders. <laughs> Time to get him. <laughs> a quarter of this video is just references to other videos, and I love it. And then, some exciting music plays, and a crashing noise is heard. Dell knocked over Trash Kid's security guard. Gosh darn it! We added a detail! Gosh darn it! Are you alright, Miss Hunt? Mike. Mike Hunt! <laughs> Mike Hunt! <laughs> Mike Hunt! Mike <laughs> Hunt! Should I include that in the swear video? It, it's not. It's not a swear word. It's not a swear. It sounds like it, but it's not. Or so I've been told. Kind of but like not in, for long. Kind of like in Five Nights at Six Flags, there are, uh, you don't know what word Indy Jimson said that was censored, but uh, it's supposed to be interpreted uh, as swear. Like here, it sounds like swear, it's not. But with Indy Jimson swearing, it doesn't sound like a swear, but it is. So, uh, yes, my blunt. Okay. Come on, Mike, hunt him now! <laughs> this is a good dude. And Come then on, we, Mike, hunt him and, down. And then we have this uh, from the original. Jump the fence! Jump reference the fence. to Cedar Point. Just right-click it! Reference to his second <laughs> Hershey Park visit. Since it could be anywhere, let's split up. Great idea! Reference to Scooby-Doo, I, I believe. And then reference and, to Markiplier. And also, the, and also the ads you two poop. Great idea! Great idea. Oh, yeah! <laughs> the ads, YTP. I, I love that YTP. And then reference to how to be my government boy, too. Everybody panic! Oh, do you recognize this name? Mike? Yes! yes no need to no panic! Need to panic. Everybody Later. panic! <laughs> <laughs> and, but just, you know, he's not running away from the vandal. He's trying to run to the vandal to get him. <laughs> But not for long. <laughs> so who is he talking to? <laughs> Last screen broken is hurt. Well, joke's on you. We can use that for more evidence. Uh, I, in part two, you might... Let me make sure this is going. Yes. In part two, you might remember there's glass on your left and then on your right. I listened uh, to that in the car recently. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's wonderful. I went to McDonald's recently to try the McRib. I never had the McRib before a couple days ago. Uh, it's alright. Mm. But I heard uh, they weren't going to have it anymore, so I might as well have it before it's too late. Yes. Music continues. Uh, you, you're you running towards the van. You almost caught him. Uh, he's running fast, but you're running slightly faster. But you're almost out of time. He is almost escaped. You have to keep going. Nick, you can run, but he can't run. Uh, and then, uh, Cowboy again says, like, he's going to listen to park rules anyway. And then, here comes our favorite part! Our favorite part of the scene! <laughs> a reference to our laundry visit. Sir, no running in the park! Shots just Nick running in! absurd one. The absurd part is, uh, the vandals only speak role in either of them. Oh, sorry! <laughs> it's so absurd! How many things is that gonna take? Oh, 
Oh my god, I can't wait for the premiere! <laughs> Until we oh made this, God. part three ha hasn't even had a single word written yet. Uh, I'm I'm going to do some rank. Uh, oh uh, shit! But don't worry. Uh, the original was made in uh like a week. Part two is actually only like nine minutes longer than uh the supercut of re original. So I think I have a chance, and I I'll write some. Uh, yes. uh, record some, edit some. I did all my major assignments. Sir, I no running in the park! Oh, sorry! <laughs> he, he's <laughs> Uh, grabs... My... Uh, that's wrong. Mike... Dill... Works every time! He's like, phaser. This is the first time you've ever done this! Sir, I need you to come with me immediately. Uh, uh like, it, it's really absurd from here yes. until here. Uh, but now that the chase music fades away, it, it you kind of like snap back to reality and like, oh, uh, wow, we found the Vandal. Time for justice. Uh, and then it cuts to all the scene with James. Uh, that, that's right, very good. Uh, it's the last scene in my temporary office. Any time after that, since the Vandal's found, the crime scene is cleaned up, I'm back to my original office. Woohoo! It is actually a federal crime to tamper with a crime scene, uh, which is a point I emphasize in part two. So, uh, now that we've explained, like, where this comes from... We're if going I, to... If I can, do you have your recording device ready? Yes. Alright. I'm trying to think of how I should, how I should say this. It doesn't have to be, like, security! It doesn't have to be quick like that, but, like, in a way... Uh, to announce to your co-workers. Maybe like, SECUTORY! Maybe something like that. Okay, let's go! <laughs> Mr. Six is going to make another appearance in part three, by the way. And, uh, I'm going to teach you how to get Mr. Six off of your property. All you have to do is, uh, say politely but firmly, hold up, this isn't a six five This part. isn't a six five Get that part. out of Get here! Get that out of here! And then he will leave! Pretend it's a foot to the- He takes his foot off the gas pedal! That- that's like the symbol of stop being Mr. Six! 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 Yes! More flags! More f- Couple hours ago, I released Five Nights at Six Flags, and, uh, I- I liked it, but- I wasn't sure what the audience going to think of until Derek said that he absolutely loved it. I I'm so happy to hear. Yes, it is amazing. Yeah, uh, greatest Halloween video I could have thought of. Will absolutely. We ever, will we ever have Five Nights at Six Flags 2? Maybe. I'm not Maybe. sure exactly. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll think about it. Uh... But for now, no, quite knows. And by the way, I'm not going to do how to play Rollercoaster Tag 2 Remaster Remastered anytime soon, right? Or so you've been told. Although I have wondered if I should make a sequel to that, not Remaster Remastered, but something that follows the story of Remastered. But I haven't thought of what yet. That that's the thing. I haven't thought of what. Let me see. Wow. Two and a half minutes, and we haven't said a single line since I said <laughs> we should begin. Okay. Security! So, my friends are having a party back at the. Uh, Security! And I'll just say the UK Daniel voice lines for now. You are, sec you are a security guard, Donkington. Yes, I'm trying to get your attention. I need all guards here. This is an urgent update. Understandable. Have a nice day. Wait, don't go yet! Everyone else arrives. <laughs> this is a serious matter. I reviewed some camera footage of the crime scene, and I think we may have our man. He has... And... He could come from any side of the park. Be vigilant, and keep an eye out. Each and every one of you. Yes, sir! You can add a yes, sir, too, if you like. Yes, sir! Attachment is heard being knocked down. The security guard's look. It has the vandalized animation. Next to it is Michael Dell. Though the guards can't see him yet. He runs off. And then, 
uh, we decide, uh, you do co-worker two and I do co-worker three. Hey, uh, is that the guy? Yes! Then what are we waiting for? Time to get him! Chase scene. All guards hunt for the suspected vandal. Music plays. Crashing noise is heard. Dell knocks over trash can. Security guard trips. Uh, in the original, this is voiced by you. What do you think? Should you do it again? And I'll do this one. I think... I think so, yeah. Right. Just try to have a different voice for each. Gosh darn it! Are you alright, Mr. Hunt? Yes! No need to panic! Come on, Mike! Hunting down! All the other kids get pumped out. Okay, you better run, better run. I'll turn me gone. What about these two? I'll, I'll do jump the fence and then you can do just right click it. Yes. Jump the fence! Just right click it! Since he could be anywhere, let's split up! Great idea! I need to run! I need to run to the Vandal! I have to go! I have to find him! I have to find him right now! So, is that your line now? Uh, did, did you just record it? No, I didn't record it. Oh. I was just saying it. it it's okay if you did. Uh, I think this is my line. No, I, I didn't should record. say this, but... Uh, but that's Mike. That's Mike. Oh. Oh right. Uh, oops. So oh, you can you can say that line before Mike, and then sure. me as Mike, I say that. I'll try to say it in a Markiplier voice. I need to run. I need to run to the Vandal. I have to go. I have to find him. I have to find him right now. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody panic! Run for your lives! Oh no! <laughs> Glass stain broken is heard. And then it's a continuation of the Mike line. Not Mike Dell, Mike Hunt. Well, joke's on you. We can use that for more evidence. Music continues. Nick closes up on the vandal. You can run, but you can't run. Like, he's going to listen to no, Park Rose anyway. Let me actually redo that. Sure! You can run, but you can't run. Like, he's going to listen to Park Rules anyway. Sir, no running in the park! Now, who should say this line? <laughs> should I say it? Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Sure, that works. Yeah, I, I think that was good. And works then... every time. This is the first time you've done this! Sir, I need you to come with me immediately. Nice. Uh, hold on, let me do another take of this coworker. This is the first time you've done this! I'll decide which one of those is better. We had a very hard time uh, choosing which one of Cody's lines was the best. It, it was between two. We will destroy the park. Give up. We're going to destroy the park. Give up. We went back and forth between those two for ten minutes. And it was like, okay, this is the one. No, wait, but this one is pretty good. Okay, I'm leaning towards that. You know what? Let's just go with this. No, wait, I can't. So yeah, I... that, that was basically the process behind choosing Cody's lines for part two. But I have an idea. I chose one of them for the original releases. We will destroy the park. Give up. And a year from now, when we do uh, the complete collection, I will have the other line used. We're going to destroy the park. Give up. That will be interesting to edit in. Genius. Yes. Whenever I do a supercut of uh, previous series, I do not just stack all the videos in and call it a day. No, I redo some of the edits. If I notice some mistakes, if I notice some cinema sins, I try to fix them, and with park videos, like if you notice one, some cinema, if you notice some cinema sins, 
This entire scene is filled <laughs> with those. <laughs> Sir, no running in the park? Oh, <laughs> sorry. Grabs him, works every time. This is the first time you've done this. It's literally cinema sinning itself. <laughs> yeah, l- there's like two sins per line. Um, I mean, like, in terms of, like, production, I love it's absurdities. So, it's so absurd, and that's why it's amazing. Uh, I, a little bit of story. I took a theater class two semesters ago. Was that a year ago already? Oh, my God. Dang. Oh, my God. No! Am I that old already? Okay, so in it, uh, we are still processing 2020. Meanwhile, 2023 is in two months. Oh my god. So, uh, in this theater class, our final project was to make, uh, like, a five to seven minute scene, uh, adapting some kind of fairy tale, and choose a theme they want to do. In my group, we adapted, uh, Goldilocks, uh, in a Roman theater style, which has so much fighting, lots of violence, and we adapted <laughs> it as a, a girl who got uh, lost and uh, uh, finds University of Spoin and uh, the equivalent of the mama, papa, and baby are a, a freshman, junior, and senior. And I was the senior. I, I, I was big and tough. And there's uh, one point, uh, we, so Goylocks, uh, ate the soup, right? In a microwave. Like, yeah, because they totally had those in, uh, Rome. Uh, she, she ate the instant ramen. Yes, that, that was it. Instant ramen, thank you. And I accused the freshman of eating it, uh, and I killed him! <laughs> and, and then we find Golux, and then we kill her! <laughs> uh, that was fun. But the next group did three little pigs in an absurdity style. I know what they did uh, at the beginning. Before they uh, go to different houses, they have a big meal and they have a very special dinner. Uh, remember three little pigs? Guess what they had? Bacon! What? <laughs> They're bacon! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> the pigs had pigs, <laughs> and then uh, you know there, there's a wolf. The wolf. That's like that's like if you've ever seen that picture with like Donald, with, like Donald Duck and his family, and oh! they have the chicken <laughs> on the table. Oh, my. Ducks eating chicken. <laughs> You know, there's a wolf comes. The wolf comes and destroys the houses. But when yes. he gets to the brick house, I found, he gives I found, up. I found the picture. I found the picture. Yes, and the wolf comes okay. and, and knocks on the door. And do you know what the first thing the wolf says is? <laughs> <laughs> the wolf knocks on the door. It'd be it'd be hilarious if he s- says like. I'm a Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> good guess. Very good guess. But he actually says... <laughs> 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 and this is not a joke. I mean, it is a joke, but I- I'm telling the truth here. This actually happened. The wolf says, We've been trying to reach you concerning your vehicles. Like- <laughs> 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 We've been trying to reach you concerning your vehicles. Like- <laughs> 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 I thought when I bought a car earlier this month, those messages appear much more often, but (laughs) actually, I think they gave up. Like, like wolf (laughs) ducks eating chicken! (laughs) Well, actually, it's turkey. Speaking of which, uh, Thanksgiving. Close enough. Close enough. Oh my <laughs> god. We've been done with the vehicle success warranty. And then the third group was in a medieval style, which always tries to give the moral of the story to be a lesson from the Bible. A uh, very religious time. Uh, and it was a story about the mayor uh, hid uh, 
the town's gold supply. Uh, I forget what fairy tale it's based on, but it exists somewhere. Some people came to kidnap the children. Uh, yeah, yeah, that theater class is so much fun. Uh, I, I, uh, I absolutely loved it. Uh, that sounds. That sounds like. That sounds like. Like an improv sketch, but not actually improv. It was not improv. We uh, planned these like we started working on these like a month in advance. It was crazy. <laughs> What's weird about the theater a- is that the theater was uh, uh, remodeled like a decade ago, so it's all modern and such. But yet, if you go through one pair of do- you don't even have to go outside. You go through one set of doors, and you go into a building that was made in, like. 1912. Without any renovations. It is now the oldest sort of building in the university since the original Somerset Hall was uh, closed down. It was the only building left yes. built in the 1800s. That would have been crazy, but now it's pretty good too, I must say. I love how they kept the old uh, style. Derek showed me the room. It uh, it looks pretty cool. Absolutely. Yeah. That, that's not it, by the way. He he's back at home. Right. Yeah. I'm I'm back at home now. Yeah. I I kind of like having a college close to home. I mean, uh, it, it's like being yeah. between half an hour an hour away. Uh, uh, going home is easy. Not like University of New Haven, where I had to hop on a train, uh, either walk for forty five minutes or uh, get a $20 Uber sometimes, take it all the way to Wilmington, Wilmaware, and then have someone pick me up at Wilmington and then drive me down. That was kind of complicated, as you see. But yeah. driving home is easy. All you have, have, do have to do is think about going home, and then you immediately appear in your car driving home. Easy. But yes. going back to Sploin is the problem. No one quite right. knows it's the a, It's a there. very... It's a very, it's a very specific way you have to get there. Yeah, it, it's so frustrating. And, and not, and not many people have been to Sploin because of that. Yeah, ab- absolutely. Like, there's a very specific scenario in which you have to be driving your car, and it has to be around, it, it has to be around like dusk ish. Yes. And your car has to just break down. Just out of nowhere, right. just break down. You get out, you check to see what's up with your car. All of a sudden, you see that the sun is setting, and it becomes dark real fast. Yes. And and then by instant, and, you say, oh, no. <laughs> yes. And then, out of nowhere... <laughs> out of nowhere out of nowhere I get attacked by a bunch of (laughs) by a bunch of zombies and skeletons and spiders and creepers they're just everywhere they're all around me attacking me shooting at me biting me what have you and then, and then you I, do it. And then I die. Cue hyperfun. But not for long. But not for long. Cue hyperfun. Even though that joke didn't exist yet. But not for long. Ah, uh, who cares? Not me. It, it exists. Who cares? Now. But then you die. But not for long. As you wake up in Sloan General Hospital, <laughs> you are soon released. The day of, and you walk out onto the lovely roads of Sploin, Maryland. And your car is magically parked at the university. They they move it there for you. Yes, they Don't, move it there. Uh, downtown Sploin is just walk through only. Only emergency vehicles. Don't drive there. It, it's part of their culture. It, it's meant for pedestrians walking. Yes. Down the, uh, downtown marketplace. That's how cities should be. That's how As cities, cities in... should be. Yes, absolutely. Sploin, great... Sploin got it right like hundreds of years ago. Yeah. In Westport, they were just building these huge highway intersections. Like, uh, at one point, 
although I'm not sure if this is statistically backed up, like 40% of the land area was highways, uh, and Bloom was like, mm, no. 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 We don't need that. We, yeah, that, that is stupid. That is stupid. Say what you want about the two idiots, but at least they didn't follow. I mean, it, it's That's kind of true, a hypocrite. Yeah. I mean, you could say I'm being a hypocrite since I have my car there, but no, it's used for going out of town and in of, into town, in of town, out of town and in of town only. No inner city shopping. I mean, in city shopping. If I want to shop elsewhere, I would take the car, but no taking the car into downtown. It's, you don't need it. You have to park your car and you just walk. Yeah, I, I, absolutely. It, it's part of the experience. Spoil it's such a exactly. great city, and, and Universe Spoin, man, it, it's the perfect place for us. Yeah, I can't honestly, imagine going anywhere else. Yeah, it it just, it just feels so humble. That's what I love about it. Yeah, I, I, absolutely. Uh, great professors, great students. Dr. Agnew wasn't that great, but at least he was asked to resign at the end of the semester. Uh, you might remember Derek and I had a big Yeah, so I would sure. have. He was half of the people who saw that room that no one has seen in hundreds of years. Before he even enrolled, you might remember when the university heard about that, uh, they'd send him a letter saying, Hey, you can enroll if you want. You've been accepted without even having to apply. Remember that? I do remember that. That was weird. Dang. Uh, wow. And they gave me half off tuition forever. How about that? So... Wouldn't that cost them more than the value of that gold, though? I, I guess it has value as, like, a museum piece. Yeah, it was legend. It was a myth until we found it by accident. See my yeah, we just, visit video for details. Yeah, we literally just, like, found it by chance. Basically, he found a big wooden chest. Inside was a pirate treasure. Yes. Oh, and you don't have the car breaking down problem and dying problem if you take a train into Spoin. You easily can. There's a line that starts at Westport Union Station, then goes to Westport International Airport, then Wet Wang, Fleffingbridge, England, Salisbury, and then it goes all the way to Spoin. But don't try to follow the yes. train tracks on foot. I tried that once, you literally never get there. Even if you walk hundreds of miles, you never get there. You either have to take the train, which gets there magically, or go through the 1.16 method. <laughs> yes. And it, it it's crazy. On the subject of my channel sort of predicting things, uh, it's amazing how I uh, predicted your visit, uh problem with you trying to visit that far in advance with how to pay Minecraft 1.6. That's true. <laughs> yeah, it's... All of part yeah, one it, isn't actually yeah, every, 1. every time I have to do that, it's uh, it's always a hassle. Yeah, it's always a hassle, but it's all, it's all part of the experience, of course. Right. You can't really yeah. complain. I, I like how in how to pay Minecraft 1.16. It the, is what it is. The first part isn't really 1.16 skills. It's just world building. I, right. I thought about how it's not uh, specific skills, but I really like the world building. I think that makes up for it. It was all made in one day. The entire part. Well, not the parts that don't require Minecraft filming. I mean, we did film the filming room scene in advance, but uh, the rest of it uh, made in one day. And it's one of the longer parts of a video, so quite impressive. Part two was longer than I expected, almost half an hour. Uh, although that's including the outro and the bloopers at the end. Yes. Exciting times coming up. And don't worry. Uh, it is. You guys know it's all right, but Derek doesn't. Don't worry. Part three will have another episode of Accounting Skills with James. Yay! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> By the way, John Schlatt, not my, f not the universe boyfriend, John Schlatt, the, uh, Jay Schlatt, I'm still looking for you to do part four of Open TDD. You thought I forgot? No. I, I do know. it. The other John Schlatt did tell me how to play Open TDD. That, that was very cool. Uh, I, I absolutely love it. I really wanted to play the Go West map. Remember, I, I sped run it twice on uh, yes. YouTube. 
that yeah. map is on open TDD, but it it requires a mod so you can start playing in 1840, and uh, it's just hard to build there. So I tried it, I, and I almost went bankrupt. So I'll try again like, oh, once dang. I have a little bit more skill in the game. Uh, I will get there eventually, of course. Uh, uh, it's a very fun. There are no objectives. You just build your own map, and then you just do whatever. A as far as I know, I promise that the only tutorials I'll use will be J Schlatt's three videos. Those three videos alone have inspired a lot of ongoing jokes on my channel. A ton yes. of ongoing jokes that last to this day. The Transatlantic Strength Dating Corporate. <laughs> <laughs> Fluffy Bridge Transport 1. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, kind of ironic how... Uh, not ironic, but coincidental how he used a lot of city names in Westport County. You know what? I have a theory. The John Schlatt I know at University Point. Is he THE John Schlatt? <gasps> and the video cut off. Hold on, I'm... Going to extend the video. There's another thing we have to court. I just realized. Oh, uh, after yes. the meeting scene. And Mr. Dill, the popo be fest on your butt. And then he leaves. And then from barely inside the park, you just stare for a second. And then I'll add the. <laughs> I don't use the actual recording, of course, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Why did I add that in the first place? I don't know. I don't know, okay? This <laughs> thing... <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that, that's actually a big improvement over three and a half years ago. Now I'm not sure which one I'm going to use. <laughs> three and a half... <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's... Uh, all there is, we, uh, Derek has done his part in part three. Now, go away and never come back. Go away. The video's over. Get the fuck out. <laughs>